I just recorded like three minutes and wasn't recording. So we'll start now. Hello and happy almost Halloween. Also, like, can we just side note that I can't believe that's already almost Halloween. So like the beginning of the year was yesterday. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments below because seriously, I don't know where 2021 went, but I was prepping today for a fun family Halloween party and I made some crumble copycat cookies, but made them festive for Halloween. So I thought I'd show you what I did so that you can also make fun festive Halloween crumble cookies because everything that is fun and festive is fun and festive. Okay, so I made four different cookies and let me tell you that these are like minimal changes, but they make them fun. Um, hi, I'm gonna pop in here really fast before we keep going with the video because I realized that I never told you all of like important information. All of the recipes that I'm talking about today are going to be in the description below. Go down there, you can click on the links. Super simple to find these recipes. They're on my website, cookingwithcarly.com. And also if you don't wanna make giant cookies, like the size of your face cookies, just scoop like three tablespoons instead of using like a half a cup of dough and just bake them for a little bit less time. I do that quite often and they work out great. That's all, okay, back to the video. So first I bought the Halloween M&Ms and just put them inside of the regular like milk chocolate chip cookie recipe, just like their classic one used fun, purple, green, and orange M&Ms instead of chocolate chips. That's tip number one. Super, super easy. Next, I made the birthday cake cookie. So cake batter cookie, cake batter cream cheese frosting, and used Halloween sprinkles instead of rainbow sprinkles. There's like the Halloween sprinkles are all inside the cookie too. Festive number two, okay? I bought these sprinkles at Walmart. They were just a few dollars. They were all mixed together and they're super cute. Number three, I made the Oreo, the chocolate Oreo one, but dyed the frosting on top orange. So it's just Oreo base, Oreo cookie base. This one is one of my favorites, it's so good. And then a vanilla cream cheese frosting on top and I just dyed it orange. That's all. And then last but not least, we have the classic chilled sugar, but I left the frosting white and put one of those little pumpkins on top. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Seriously, so easy, all of these cookies, but they're fun and festive. And that's the one thing that I really like about cookies is that you can literally dress them up for any occasion. Like you could do this exact same thing for Christmas. Just the Christmas M&Ms, Christmas sprinkles. You could find something Christmassy to put in, in the middle of the sugar, I know it. But anyway, cookies are great. If you make any of my cookies for your Halloween parties, please, please, please let me know, comment. You can find me on Instagram, you can tag me over there. Seriously, I love seeing your guys' creations from my recipes. So here they are, the four. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I have to tell you today. Besides the fact that I'm looking outside right now and one of my goats got out. So I need to go put her back. Nope, no. Not her, this is Noodle. I have a goat named Noodle. Noodle got out. So I'm gonna go take care of that. And then you guys make some cookies. And let me know. And I'll see you guys the next taste test, probably. Have a great week.